Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Deepak Ramesh. I am an oculoplastic plastic surgeon. I have offices in Somerset and Livingston, New Jersey. Graves' disease is the most common autoimmune disease in the United States, and it can cause thyroid dysfunction. You can be high, you can be low, but this can affect the eye, and the eye can get bulgy, you can have double vision, you can have a significant change in your aesthetic appearance. And this is predominantly a condition that affects women who are younger, so in their 30s to 50s. So a change in appearance at that stage in younger people can be very distressing. So you can have puffiness in your eyelid, pain around or behind your eyeball, bulging, so you see too much of the whites around your eyes, or double vision. Fortunately, vision loss is a very rare uh, symptom of Graves' disease. We use lab testing, MRI, and we have measurements such as exophthalmometry, measuring how bulgy the eye is in comparison to where it should be. Conservative treatment options include over-the-counter medicines like tear drops, at the next step up, we have targeted therapy. So medicine that specifically targets the Graves' disease in the eye sockets. So there are some FDA approved medicines. There are also clinical trials, which we are involved in. And all of these um, have really helped improve the disease duration. So before it used to be a two year disease on average, and now we can shorten that duration to sometimes three, six months. And we also improve the severity. So patients who might otherwise have had very severe manifestations may now have mild to moderate manifestations. Orbital decompression is a surgical rehabilitative technique to address patients who have Graves' eye disease. So we recess the eyes because when you have fat and muscle growth due to the Graves, the eye gets pushed forward. So allowing the eye to rest back improves dryness, it improves pain and pressure and congestion, and it helps you uh, look better. It helps restore your look to how you were before you had the thyroid condition. There are treatments for all stages of Graves' disease, both early and late, and both mild and severe. So I would recommend that any patient who has a concern for thyroid eye disease see a thyroid eye disease specialist early on in their disease so they decide, do I need medicine? Do I need surgery? And get ahead of the problem before it becomes severe. Surgery typically takes about two hours. Patients are asleep. You have the surgery, you go home, and you're swollen and puffy, bruised for about two weeks, two weeks of downtime, and then you're uh, able to return to normal activities. It takes about three to six months to heal totally, but by two weeks, patients are functional. But we're really able to do the surgery as an outpatient surgery these days, which is a lot safer and convenient, more convenient for patients. Well, when I target a surgical outcome. I have the patient's old photo pre-graves up next to them when I'm doing surgery. So my goal is to get them as close as possible to how they looked pre-graves. And if we can also address some aging changes along the way, then that's also beneficial. So risks to the eye or to the vision are rare. It's about 0.5%. Um, beyond that, the best outcomes happen in patients who have moderate disease. The more severe your disease is, the more things we have to do. And in particular, double vision is a challenging thing to treat. Um, so patients who have double vision often do better with or with pretreatment with the targeted therapy that's available. Um, bulging, eyelid changes and aging changes are relatively straightforward to treat nowadays. So those patients who have all of those things but don't have double vision tend to do really well with surgery. Patients who have long-standing disease and their inflammation is quiet do really well with surgery. Patients who just embarked on this journey, they were just diagnosed, tend to do better with medical therapy. And sometimes we, we follow medical therapy with surgery because the medicines will improve condition by about 50 to 70 percent. So there might still be some changes, but the amount of surgery or the elegance of the surgery that we're doing now is very different from what it was 10, 15 years ago before the era of medicine for a permanent.